Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to use relative references within your named ranges. Now just quickly for those of you who may not be so familiar with named ranges the typical way of using them would be to highlight a range of cells or a cell and to click in this name box in the top left corner assign a name so maybe I'll call this orders for example and press enter and then we can use that name very simply within our calculations so I could write a little sum function just simply type in orders and that simplifies a reference to a column instead of column C or cell C2 to C6. You know, it's a simplified reference. However, when we do this, if I go into my formulas tab and then this name manager button so I can work with the name ranges that I have, a named range by default is made absolute. These dollar signs are inserted into the reference so a name is fixed. And that's normally a good thing, it's normally a benefit to them. You don't want a named area to move, that's normally why you've named it. It is the name of a location, it's specific, you want it to be absolute. However, there can be some benefits to using relative references. So let me delete this one, not that it's going to do any harm, and let's look at an example. So I've got a very simple table here where I just want to multiply the quantity by the order value, um, otherwise known as multiplying the cell 2 to the left by the 1, 1 to the left, so that when I copy that formula down from D2 into D3, D4, D5, it also references the same area. They all reference 2 to the left to 1 to the left, 2 to the left to 1 to the left, if that makes sense. Now what we can do here is click on Define Name up on this Formulas tab and create this named range from scratch. So let's say I want to call this one Left 2. And then in this Refers To area at the bottom, I've got Equals, Sheet 1, exclamation mark then I've got this absolute reference I'm just going to tweak that and type in B2 so I'm referencing cell B2 but because at the moment I'm in cell D2 you need to make sure you know the active cell you have at the time of writing it so cell B2 in relation to D2 is 2 to the left so although my reference says B2 because there are no dollar signs, that will be relative to my current position, i.e. 2 to the left. So when I click OK, that's created. And let's go and define another name. I'm going to call it left1. And let me change that reference, get rid of the dollar signs, and I'll make it C2, which is the cell currently 1 to the left of my current position. I'll click OK. And let's see that within a formula. So in cell D2, I could simply type now equals. I could type left 2 multiplied by left 1. So the basic concept here is instead of referring to B2 and C2, which, you know, right now they are the cells next to where I am, it could be argued it's not that difficult to use those references and understand those references. But by using these names, it should simplify the writing, uh, the reading and the general working with these formulas. So if I pressed enter and I copied that down, that formula would work like any formula would. Although when people look at it now, it refers to the two to the left and the one to the left references instead of things like B5 and C5. Now there is a basic demonstration of them, uh, but it just shows that by using names rather than grid references, you know, it, there could be some benefit to it, 
And although in named ranges they want to use the absolute reference, it doesn't always have to be that way. You may find your own benefits from this relative referencing. Now, that's a useful example, I guess, but the true benefit, I think, of relative referencing within named ranges comes from using them within formulas, like writing a formula within the named range itself rather than a cell reference. So if I was to delete those cells for a moment and go back into the define name button and instead this time for the name I'm going to leave it as total. Um, well, let's call it total value for the sake of it. And then in this refers to area at the bottom I'm going to put in my relative references again. So let me put b2 but then actually in the formula itself sorry in the named range itself I'm going to type multiplied by and then let me click on uh, that cell and just adjust that and get rid of those dollar signs so I've actually got sheet 1 b2 multiplied by sheet 1 c2 written in this refers to area let me take a copy of that so I can show it to you on screen a little bit easier. If I click OK for this, this is what I had written in that box. Literally the formula itself, like you can see shown on screen right now, I wrote it in the named range area. So that means in cell D2 I can just type equals total value and that performs the calculation and copy it down. So now when people look at my formulas, they actually see the name of the calculation rather than the actual calculation. So hopefully it will be easier for them to understand what's going on and potentially edit it. And I think that's one of the true strengths of using these relative references and named ranges. The fact that we can write the formulas directly into the name, essentially creating our own formulas. Essentially creating our own formulas, assigning their own names to provide a level of simplicity to our spreadsheets. I think that's a really powerful kind of use of them. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.